This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Jump. Hello YouTube, it's Akrivit again, and Akai just dropped the latest version of the new MPC, right? The MPC Key 61, a brand new piece of hardware that's pretty much a workstation, but still an MPC, but also a whole bunch of new instruments that the MPC Key 61 comes with. But what's also cool about the new instruments is that they are actually compatible with the older, or maybe I should say the other standalone MPCs, like the One, Live and X, and these new plugin instruments are also compatible with the MPC software for the computer if you want to run them that way instead. And right off the bat, I want to mention that these instruments doesn't come for free. It's not like they're included in the next system update or anything like that, but you can purchase them from Akai, download, activate and install on your NPC or just running them on the computer software. And there are a bunch of them. So in this video, I'm going to do a deeper dive and take a look at two of my favorite ones. First, Fabric XL, which is a really powerful synthesizer. and also Stage EP, which is a multi-sampled electronic piano instrument, which sounds awesome. So we're getting Fabric XL, we're getting Stage EP, but also more of a normal acoustic piano, also multi-sampled, that's called Stage Piano. Also getting something called studio strings which is basically what it sounds like a multi-sampled instrument with strings both orchestral stuff and also solo instruments like that and we're also getting a fully fledged out fm synthesizer with four operators called opx4 which kind of makes sense with four operators and there's also another instrument called organ which is a modeled drawbar organ type of instrument with all the different settings in the world <laughs> And on top of all these instruments, we're also getting a new range of plugins called Fabric. Where the one called Fabric is a slimmed down version of Fabric XL, Fabric Electric Piano is a slimmed down version of the Stage EP, and Fabric Piano is a slimmed down version of the Acoustic Piano instrument. And the Fabric versions of these instruments are a little bit easier to run on the internal memory on the device that you're running them on. So the bigger full-size version of them just sounds a little bit better, in general. And you know, I'm not sure, but it feels like Akai is kind of building its own little ecosystem of plugins compatible with the NPCs. And I think that's really cool. So far, I've fallen in love with two of these ones in particular, Fabric XL as well as the Stage EP. So let's take a closer look at those two. Now the first instrument that I want to dig into here is called Fabric XL, and is basically a sample-based synthesizer with three different layers of sound stacked into one. The interface looks like that, and we're getting one, two, and three layers of sound. What I think is really cool about Fabric XL is how you can use it in different ways, depending on your skill level or depending on how much time you want to spend on an individual patch. First of all, we're getting over 1200 different presets inside of this one, and every single preset is made up by these three different layers of sound. Take this one for instance. That's what the preset sounds like with all three layers going on at the same time. Let's take these two out. And we're just getting the percussive part of it. Let's take that one out and increase the volume of that one. Or maybe just that one. And let's add the percussion back in. And just like that, we're able to do a lot with this single preset just by changing the volume of the different layers. But if we want to take this one step further, we can actually go into the presets for one single layer, choose something different. Let's take a bass guitar, maybe the slap bass. And let's replace this one too. Let's go for brass and trumpets, why not? And we're also able to change the settings for the percussion layer individually 
or maybe make a few changes to layer one. Maybe I want to change how the sample plays back on the keyboard. Maybe I want to change the amp settings, the filter settings, the pitch settings, or the LFO. And for example, the LFO settings here gives us nine different waveforms to choose from. So, so the editing possibilities here becomes really, really deep on these two different layers for the synth sound and also the unique settings that just applies to the percussion layer. And we're also getting a bunch of effects inside of the instrument itself. We're talking about chorus, tremolo, phaser, flavor, EQ, amp, cabinet, compressor, delay, reverb, as well as MIDI settings for the individual instrument itself. Honestly, I could talk about this one for days if you want to dig into it for real, but just the basic settings we have on this first page, that's really powerful just as it is. And again, we're getting more than 1200 presets inside of this one, the Fabric XL. Let's leave Fabric XL for now and take a quick look at Fabric instead. This is pretty much exactly the same instrument as Fabric XL. It has the same settings and the same samples and everything. And since we're talking about sample-based instruments here, Fabric seems to use pretty much the same stuff, but just a lesser amount of samples to get the similar type of sound. Which of course makes it easier on the device and the memory inside of it. So Fabric and Fabric XL are two different versions of the same beast, so to speak. But first, let me tell you about DistroKid. DistroKid is my preferred way to get my own music out on digital platforms and online stores like Spotify, Google Music, iTunes, Apple Music, and even more places like that. I'm uploading my music and my album art once onto DistroKid, and then they just make sure that everything works from there, both in terms of finances and in terms of actually releasing the stuff onto the digital platforms where I want to be found. 20 bucks a year allows me to upload an unlimited number of tracks, EPs or even albums onto the service and everything just works smoothly from there. Also, make sure to use the link in the description below because that will give you an additional discount. Thanks a lot to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to another one of my favorites here, which is the Stage EP. And this is one of the new high quality multi-sampled instruments that are available for the NPCs. Stage EP is an electric piano with five different models inside of it. Rhodes, Rhodes Hot, Suitcase, Whirly, and lastly, Piane. Piane? Piane? Obviously, I don't know how to pronounce that, but something like that. And of course, this one also comes with a whole range of different presets inside of it. Let's go for Setups and Suitcase Vibrato. or pop standard hot or maybe a live FM suitcase something that's cool with this one is that we can change the mechanics from FM synth to mic or off and the settings for the mic here is just volume up and down for note on or note off But we can also change the mechanics to FM synth, which basically gives us another layer of an FM synth on top of this multi-sampled instrument. We can change the format, the dynamics, the age of the instrument. We also have a sample start and a level setting, as well as this amp envelope with attack, decay, sustain, release. And also this extra spike setting that gives us a little bit of extra attack. And also effects like chorus, tremolo, amp, cab, compressor, EQ and delay and reverb. So a lot of the same stuff that we saw on Fabric XL in terms of the effects. All the deep editing possibilities and sound designing options aside, I feel like the stage EP piano sounds really good as it is. I like all the presets and whatever I do to a sound by adding these crazy FM layers or whatever. The end result always sounds good and is useful at least for the stuff that I normally make in here. So the Stage EP instrument is definitely one of my new favorites on this one, for sure. And that's about it when it comes to my two new favorite plugins out of these ones for the NPCs. And again, there are way more stuff available here. The FM synth sounds great. But I've just always had this issue with FM Synthesis where I find it a little bit hard to wrap my head around, but it sounds great. And also the new string instrument is also really good. It sounds great and it's kind of easy to work with. And I'm gonna do my best to cover as much of this as possible on the channel. But for now, this is what it is. Thanks a lot for watching this one. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, ha det gott.
accurate beats. Accurate beats. Accurate beats.